Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to part four of the creating a linked list project in C++. So in the last tutorial we just uh, defined our constructor function for our list class. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to define the add node function. So the add node function is going to be, it's not going to return any value, so because of that it's going to be void. And then we need to let our program know that we're defining a function from the list class. And uh, NetBeans gives me some options here. It recognizes the function prototypes that I typed in in my list.h file. And I'm just going to select the add node function because that's what we'll be defining right now. And uh, you can type that out if you don't have that option on your IDE. But uh, anyway, we just need to put some curly braces after that. And everything inside the curly braces is going to be the definition of the add node function. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a new node and make a node pointer point to it. So I'm just going to type in node PTR for node pointer n is equal to a new node. So basically node pointer, node PTR here, I have defined with a type def and I did that in my list.h file. So when I type this in it means the same thing as node star, it creates a node pointer. And if you're not sure why that works or how to do it, then check out my first video, part one of the series. I show you how I make this work. So basically we're creating a new node pointer called n and then we're also creating a new node and then we're making our node pointer point to the new node. So all that happens with this one line of code right here. So then the next thing we want to do is we basically we're going to attach this to the end of the list. So all of the nodes at the end or the only node that's at the end is going to point to null. It's going to point to nothing because it's the end of the list. So we're going to set this up to be the last node in the list. So to do that we're just going to say that the next element of our node is going to be equal to null. Whoops, there we go. And uh, basically this says find the node that n is pointing to, access its next element, and then make that point to nothing is basically what this is doing. So now that we've done that we just need to fill this new node with some data and we do that by n arrow data is equal to add data. And so it's whatever we pass into our function, the add data here, is going to be what the node is going to hold now. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the general case where we already have a list created. And uh, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to say if head is not equal to null. And now remember head is a pointer that is, it's a private pointer, but it's a pointer of our class and all of our functions can access the private data members. So the add node function, since it's a public member of the list class, it can add access all this private data. And so basically what we're saying, if head is not equal to null, if head basically, so this is basically saying, if head is pointing to an object, then that means that we have some sort of list intact. So if that's the case, we're going to make it do some stuff. And what we're going to make it do is we're going to say, okay, take the cur pointer, the we're gonna, that's going to be the current pointer that we're working with, and make it point to the same thing that head, the head pointer is pointing to. So we already have a list set up, and uh, when we do that, then uh, we set the head equal to the front of the list. So this is saying we have a list set up already. If this is true, it's going to go in here, and it's going to make the current pointer point to the front of the list. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to just check to see if we're at the end of the list. We're going to check to see if that is the last node in the list or not. So we're going to say while cur next, cur arrow next, is not equal to null because this case will only happen at the very end of the list so while it's not true while we're not at the end of the list we're just going to make the current pointer point to the next node in the list so that's what that while loop does it basically advances 
the current pointer until it gets to the last node in the list. So once it's at the last node in the list, um, our last node is always set to, its next value is always set to null, and so when it gets to the last node in the list, it's going to check and it's going to say, okay, the next element is equal to null, and then it won't do this stuff in here, and it will exit out of this while loop. So when it's at the very end of the list, it will exit out of the while loop, and when that happens, we're going to say that the next element, since we're pointing to the last one now, the next element, so cur, yeah, cur arrow next, the next element is going to point to n. It's going to point to this new node that we created and filled with data. And notice that n is his next element is now pointing to null. So the next time we come in here and add a node, then we'll follow the same process and we'll just current will keep on going and then that time the the new node that we just created this time will be the last one and uh, it will know to exit at the right time and add the new node at the end once again so the only thing we're missing here is we need an else statement so this is basically if the list is already created if we already have at least one element in the list do that but if we don't have at least one element in the list then we basically just need to tell the uh, we need to tell the new node that it's basically going to be the front of the list. So we're just going to say head is equal to n. So basically, if we have some sort of a list intact already, then we're basically going to advance the current pointer from the front all the way to the last node. When it gets there, we're just going to connect that last node to the new node that we created. And if we don't have a list, then we're just going to make n, the new node that we created in this function, we're going to make that um, be the front. Head will point to the new node if that's the case, if we don't have anything that's in the list already. So anyway, that is how we build the add node function. So anyway, stay tuned for the next tutorial. I'm going to be doing the delete node function. It'll be a little bit more complicated, but it will be manageable. And uh, after that, then I'll be doing the print function, and then we'll test it in our main.cpp file. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have an excellent day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.